Hello everyone, welcome back to school. So happy to see you all even if it's just through videos. I am standing right outside the butterfly garden, which is what I primarily worked on this summer. So I'm gonna give you a quick garden tour of the butterfly garden and then we'll head up to the seven circles for a little garden tour of that. things I did was pull out all the plants right on the border and I put in bricks along the sides. This is going to help keep weeds from getting over into the pathways and help keep animals out of the plants. All the roses are blooming. They're happy and happy. On this side, see that plant right there? That's a Pride of Madeira. We have a couple Pride of Madeiras in Circle 4, the outside of Circle 4. So those are gonna get super big and fill this space here and a big cone-shaped purple flowers, which I'm very excited about. Got one there, got a grumpy little one here and then a happy one there. So those will all get quite big. Another really big thing I worked on was pulling back weeds about a foot from in the pathway to, so now you can see this rock wall Unfortunately, I haven't been able to come here for about a week because of those fires and all the smoke, so it looks like we've got some weed friends back, but that's okay. Nothing I can't handle. We put in a pattern here, and I'll show you. You'll be able to see in just a moment, but we've got some pink yarrow. And then I'm missing a couple bits in here. This, the stores that I want, the stores that I went to that had the plants didn't have the plants the next time I went in. But then we've got Feverfew. Look how beautiful Feverfew is. And then this is a pink yarrow, but looks like the smoke and the heat got to her. But she's okay healthy-wise with her leaves. Just looks like the flowers are done. Then we've got a Budlia, where this is a butterfly bush. And that one's also going to get really big. We've got a milkweed. Milkweed, um, the monarch butterflies absolutely love milkweed, so we're hoping that monarchs will lay their eggs there. And then we've got another feverfew and another yarrow. So you guys see the pattern here? Feverfew yarrow, budlia. Feverfew yarrow, milkweed. Oh look, the milkweed pods, their seed pods opened up. That's so cool, I'm excited about that. So hopefully we'll get more milkweed around here. This guy is still in its pot another budlia. I'm thinking about cutting back this holly. I don't know. We'll see. Feverfew. That was a pink yarrow as well. And then another milkweed. All right. We're going to go through the little archway here. Another big thing I did was trim back the thornless blackberry bushes here and create a sweet little path to this little bench over there. But the weeds are back. This is all, all of this is the uh, climbing sweet pea. Its flowers look like this. They're gorgeous, but they really kind of suffocate everything. So I have to pull it out. And then I planted some cool plants in what, this is what we call the mound. We've got a Mexican sage here. These little cool yellow pods are like uh, something like firecrackers. I don't remember exactly. Oh, you see the butterfly on the lantana? Oh, there she goes. Bye. It's called the butterfly garden after all. Another Mexican sage and then down there's just a common sage. Another budlia so this will get all big. Those orange and reds are lantanas. We've got a big bumblebee friend on this lantana. A purple shade of lantana. And then here's a different kind of milkweed and another different kind of milkweed to attract monarchs. We've got uh, amaranth, so these are gonna get some funny reddish burgundy cones. Oh, look at her. She's so happy. Let's see if I can follow her. That's what we wanna see. We wanna see butterflies in the butterfly garden. So all of this is filled we have lots of things that are going to get quite big. Trimmed back the rosemary and then over here I put some white geraniums. These are all geraniums and I'm going to trim them back so that they'll come back even bigger. But they all have these white little flowers and they have a very interesting smell. 
So next time you're by this bench, you can come smell the geraniums. One of the really big projects I did this summer was trimming back all of this. Now, this is all um, honeysuckle and some grapes mixed in, and this looks pretty butchered right now. But there was so much dead material underneath that I had to pull it out. So now there leaves room for this nice green stuff to come down and grow without there being dead in it. All right. It's all dropping its petals. Going over the bridge. Pulled out, there was lots and lots of weeds and plants in here. And again, all of this honeysuckle was just pouring down, but it was a lot of it was dead. Cut all that back and pulled all this out. Now, this is an area, this was the last area I worked on right before those big fires started happening and all the smoke and all the really extreme heat. So, our comfrey survived. It looks like this one survived. This is a sweet pea bush. This one isn't like the vine, so this one's nice and healthy for our garden. We have lots of those up in the seven circles. But do you think this one survived? <laughs> I don't think it did and I'm not sure why. So what I'm gonna do is trim it back and we'll see if it comes back in the winter time. But this one, these, if that one comes back, these should get pretty big to fill the space. And so will this budlia, this budlia will get big. And then I will put in some smaller plants along this front edge here, but kind of ran out of time. Over here, everything's pretty much the same. Just trimmed everything back and cleaned it all up. And if we head this way, all the ferns are still happy. This back part of the garden, you can see, I kind of didn't have time to get to. The other interesting thing about this part of the garden is that the watering system is broken from basically that that raised bed there back this way it's all broken so I didn't want to plant anything back here that wouldn't be able to survive the heat until I fix the or I guess figure out first how to fix the watering system so that is the tour of the butterfly garden I have to come back this week or next week or the week after and really do another good cleanup and kind of finishing touches but I'm gonna take you back this way and show you one more super special thing. So as you can see, the, this garden is full of these beautiful stepping stones that kids in the past have made. Now Miss Lara worked with the kids in drama camp over the summer to create these absolutely gorgeous stepping stones. So what I've done here is made a little path to this little seating area. You can see it doesn't quite fit. Oh, there's our butterfly friend. There she goes. So what I'm going to do is probably either if we can make more, we'll put them there or I'll put bricks or other stones in between to separate them. But here's a good view of the absolutely gorgeous work your classmates did over the summer. All right. All right, so that, my friends, is the butterfly garden. We are then going to go head up to the Seven Circles garden.